I'll just share my screen. Uh, is my screen visible? Yes. PPT. Okay. Okay. Good evening, uh, my esteemed colleagues. Myself, she is Shantam Agarwal, practicing in Chandrapur, Maharashtra. I'm honored to be here today to discuss a use case of AI in word processing, drafting, and document creation, something that I believe can break, greatly benefit us. In our day-to-day -day work, we often find ourselves dealing with various cases of drafting of replies to income tax and GST notices. That can be tedious process to read the notice and prepare the reply manually. However, with the help of uh, AI, we now have powerful tools that can help us draft our replies to any notice. Today, I'd like to share with you a specific example of how we can leverage the power of AI with the help of Claude AI to summarize GST notice, drafting its reply, and automated formatting in Word using VBA. You might have used chat GPT to draft a reply to a notice, which you have to read the whole notice and then ask GPT, ask chat GPT to prepare a reply. But what if I tell you that you don't even have to read a notice and AI will help you summarize the contents of the notice and then prepare a reply based on your inputs. And that too, in a format you like. So imagine a scenario where the client have come to you with the hard copy of the GST notice for e-invoicing, and he wants you to draft a reply to that notice. Manually reading and then drafting a reply to that notice would be a tedious and time consuming process. But with the help of Claude AI, we can automate this task and save our, uh, save our valuable time. Now let's demonstrate the use case with an example. Let me share my screen again. Vishnu, please help. Yes. Are you able to see my uh, a GST notice image yes. file? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So suppose uh, this is the hard copy uh, which I have client uh, uh, provided to us and draft. Uh, ask us to reply a uh, drafter reply. Then what we can do is go to Claude AI. Claude AI, why Claude AI? Claude AI is a free tool provided by Google where you can upload a document and uh, ask anything around it. So what I'll do, I just copy paste this image to Claude AI. Image is uploading, the image is uploaded now. Now I'll write, Summarize this document for me. Now, Claudia, I will, uh, will summarize this document. What is written in their uh, GST notice? So the key points are, uh, they have mentioned uh, uh, that the, you have to generate an invoice if uh, there is more than the five crores. And in the fifth point, the notice instruct the business to comply with the e-invoicing requirement within five days. Now, <clears throat> this client uh, is a uh, petrol uh, petroleum client. So it, it has a petroleum and it sells uh, petrol, diesel, speed, poles, uh, speed petrols and uh, some lubricants also. But the amount of uh, volume of lubricants is very slow and uh, mostly the uh, sale of diesel petrol are uh, non-GST supplies. So what I can do is just give a prompt or ask Claude AI. I've made that uh, simplest reply and ask uh, Claude AI to prepare a uh, reply. So I'll write, okay, make a reply letter to the GST authority with reference and subject saying that we are in the business of petrol pump where mostly goods are non-GST supplies like petrol and diesel. We also sell oil. However, the quantum of oil is very less and that too in B2C model. As per exemption notification of e-invoicing, both non-GST supplies and B2C transactions are exempted from e-invoicing. Hence, there is no scope, uh, scope for us to issue e-invoice as there are no B2B transaction and it is requested to consider the same. And I'll put it enter. Now, Claudia, I will generate the reply. See, it has addressed the uh, officer with reference and then prepared a whole reply. Now, 
we have to mention the name and the uh, proprietor name and signature and uh, the seal also for that we should copy this uh, reply and paste it to a word word format now this is a blank word format where i will paste this draft reply now you can see the draft uh, dra draft reply has come to our uh, the microsoft word document but the formatting is not that good all the uh, fonts are uh, uh, not in times roman if you want to uh, the fonts in times roman and there is a space between this uh, paragraphs now if we do the formatting uh, using ai what we can do we can ask chat gpt or cloud ai to uh, automate our formatting also so for that i have prepared a prompt which says i want to automate the formatting in word document for every time i paste a reply in word document using a shortcut key generated by vba code the formatting should contain the following all the fonts should be in times new roman all the fonts should be in 11 in size all salutations do dear uh, respected subject reference should be in bold there should be no space before or after any paragraphs line spacing should be one in whole document and all fonts should be justified in alignment please generate a vba code for me and provide a shortcut key to incorporate the formatting into into the word document so i'll just copy paste this i'll again ask cloud ai to generate a vba code for me see the cloud ai is now generating the vba code for automating the formatting so this uh, code i have already uh, pasted here in my prompt so i'll just copy this and go to my uh, word document press alt f11 insert module and paste that code into this and click save now <clears throat> it is asking me to uh, save on a macro uh, format so i'll say no yes uh, prepare in a uh, save in a macro format so i'll just now the document is saved as a macro enabled word document now <clears throat> i'll go again to the file then options then customize ribbon then keyboard shortcuts and customize here what i can do is select a macro and select a document and define a new shortcut key uh, shortcut key to automate the formatting in in that case uh, in this case i am using control shift v and then assign and then close and then okay and now if i select all the document all the contents of the document and press control shift v as 2 minutes remaining yes so now you can see uh, the all the fonts are in uh, times new roman and the font size is 11 and all the salutations like this respected subject to are in uh, bold and all the alignments are in justified this way we can use uh, ai for our day to day uh, uh, reply drafting and uh, yes that's it that's it from my side thank you